I'll just I'll just start it off. We're already talking. So here with me and Callan, we're talking about, you know, some controversial things and subjects. So we'll be trying to figure out exactly which one to talk about and which one to land on. But there are some topics out there that a lot of people talk about in the base community that we have some opinions about. So we're just gonna kinda shoot the breeze and talk about them. Uh one of the first things I'll leave the other. I'll leave the wrong notes for another. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about. It. Maybe we'll get Next into that a little bit. Next right. Time. So one of the 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 topics is slap bass is great. Like just in general, like or slap bass is awesome, or you know the way somebody just feels about the style of slap bass. Now, I know a lot of people have a lot to say with this, and even me is so funny, and it may seem like contradictory because you probably have heard me slap a lot. I don't necessarily like slapping like that's it's so weird wow. it's so like right I, i'm sure you probably wouldn't even have thought yeah. to even you know hear me say that but i really i know you know and i'm kind of being super transparent here i know i do it a lot only because that's what a lot of people like i mean that's the age of social media now like that's the age of just being in this community like you do what works you do what has views you do what sells like and that's what i did um with slap bass well let me okay i'll get into that a little bit more but what do you think man what do you think about slap bass you could slap like crazy man I, like that's not even an issue for you but what do you feel what do you feel about slap bass overall in general as a technique oh thank you man uh yeah I mean, it's a lot. I remember when I first got into it, like when I first got into bass playing, that was all I wanted to do, right? right. Like oh, that, yeah. that was, yeah. that was it. You know, you hear Larry Graham, you hear Lewis Johnson, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, it's game over. Mm -hmm. That's what the bass is. And uh, yeah, I remember just playing. Uh, man, there was a, a bass line, Aeroplane, mm -hmm. uh, by the Chili Peppers. Yes, which is a great, great bass line. It's, it's fun. It's funky, but. Yeah, I mean, I must have just annoyed everybody that I was around for years. I mean, oh, the first sure. two years, I was just I'm playing sure. that every day. And, um, yeah, I think now I, I look back on, on that kind of, I don't know, the the beginner side. And it's good, you know. Like, overall, I, I totally, like, I get it. I've been there. Right. But it's very, like, everybody's on it. Absolutely. And it's hard to get it to sound good. Yeah. You know, you really have to put in a lot of time. Yeah, not not only that, man. It's like you even with slap bass is such a crazy technique. And and before when I started doing it and I was getting mad that I couldn't get it, I would just have this this strong <laughs> hatred for bass players that could slap because I couldn't do it. Uh, it was just hard. It was hard for me to do. And I always just thought of them as, uh, oh, well, you should just go play drums like you might as well just go and get on a drum set because that's really what slap bass is you know it's all of those rhythms combined and you know oh. most and it's crazy because a lot of drummers that transition to bass are crazy slap bass players Cra i mm -hmm. mean crazy i mean obviously it makes sense it's just the rhythm of it uh and i talk a lot about you know the analogy of uh playing snap uh slap bass and playing percussion or thinking like a drummer a lot yeah um and it just it just makes sense but I just got mad at it because there's a thin line to me uh, because you can make it musical and then sometimes it can be super annoying at sometimes when it's literally just rhythms to me. That's just, I mean, maybe everybody, you know, anybody else thinks differently, yeah. but you know, it, I enjoy it or I, I respect it more when you can make it musical, you know, when you have something to say and not just beating on the bass, you know what I mean? Um, right. It's, it, you know, it's, Everybody got their own opinion. But what are you going to say? Well, it's, I mean, God, it's tough, man. Because, yeah. like, I, I love it, too. Yeah. You know? Like, I, I love it. And, you know, I mean, there's some people who do it. Victor, Marcus, you oh, know. God. And, yeah. and they don't, it's very tasteful. Yes. And they, they know how to, you know, evoke a feeling and, and do something purposeful with it. Um, But, God, it takes a long time to get there. I, absolutely. I mean, even when you're talking about, like, you know, Larry Graham and, you know, the guys back in the day, Bootsy, back in the day, it wasn't as musical. Now, this is my opinion. It wasn't as musical as some of the stuff, you know, being played today, especially like when Victor came out. I think that was a whole nother level of musicality when he involved the technique with super classical playing um, and just creating songs around it and all of these crazy different techniques and different rhythms that he would do. And it sounded so musical to me. And I kind of 
gravitated towards that. Any other one was like, I don't know, it's, it's so hard to say because it was more, it was so much more percussion based to me versus, you know, adding that theory in there. You know, if I just want something to feel good and just, I'll listen to a drum beat. That's, I mean, that's just me. But I like when I'm playing slap, I like to be musical. I like for it to go somewhere. I like to be able to, you know, be creative when I'm playing slap. And, and sometimes we can get into it. A lot of people sound exactly the same uh, when you end up playing slap bass. And, and, and the crazy thing is, you know, this this might, you know, turn some heads or ruffle some feathers too, but I hate the term slap bass. I can't stand it. It was always thumping to me. Like, it was always thumping. Like, I don't know even where slap bass came from. Maybe it is a technical term. I don't know, but it was so weird. You know, the term slap bass after a while just kind of gets, I don't know, it gets annoying to me. But anyway, I'm trying to like maybe show them my true colors here, but and it may seem, like I said, it may seem contradictory, but I Let never it all really, out. I know, man, like I never really get a chance to like say it. And a lot of times you have to appeal to the audience, right? You have to appeal to people what people like. And a lot of times I have to teach things that I may not care for. You know, I may have to learn things or teach somebody else something that may not be my specific style. Um, that happens all the time. Like I'm teaching a style that I don't primarily play. Um, I know how to play it, but I might not primarily play it. I might have to teach a song or even learn a song that I may not care for. That happens all the time. Like I got to learn a song in a couple minutes that I can't stand. But I got to learn it and play it as if it's the best song in the world. You know what I mean? Like, right. so But anyway, going back to slap bass, uh, yeah, the term is weird, too. So now I kind of adapted that. Everybody has adapted to slap bass. But it was always thumping, man. It was, I don't know, to me. That's Maybe that's just a personal cultural thing. I don't know. But uh, yeah. But, yeah um, but slap bass, in a way, it is great when done right, I believe. And there's different styles uh, to different people that they have their own feel. Like, you know, like the old school cast back in the day, you know, you have the new guys now, like the, the not now, but Victor, Vic is an OG. But <laughs> like when he came with it, it was so innovative, you know, and people still try to replicate yeah. it to this day. Like I still can't yeah. do a lot of this stuff. And in the beginning, oh, yeah. that's all I wanted to learn. Like, that's all I wanted to do was Victor. I wanted to learn classical thump. I wanted to learn, um, yeah. I can't, I'm terrible with names. I can't, every song, I, I can tell you and sing back to you every song on the album that he has on every album, but I can't remember the names of them. But uh, yeah, I've always wanted to do that. I always wanted to do that. And can't hold no groove. Man, that, that, Vic. Yeah. Vic is a monster, man. But yeah, slap bass in general to me, yeah. you know, it's 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 cool and when it's needed. So, question for you, Callan. As far as your favorite like slap bass person, like when did you get into it? Like were you listening to uh Louis Johnson, Larry Grant? Were you listening to that? Was that what introduced you? Was Marcus the person that you know was Victor, like you know, because you're younger than me, so I don't know what you had an opportunity to hear first. Uh, what was your first start with slap bass? Period or thumping? Yeah, I I remember, I remember my music teacher because I kind of fell into bass in an awkward way. I got placed mm -hmm. in a guitar class in high school, and I was well, I didn't sign up for, to take a guitar class. Like That's I was weird. ready to do photography. I was ready to be a filmmaker. No, we're going. And, you're just uh, going to play guitar, <laughs> right? They just they just put me in the class. They were like a you know placeholder, and I kind of was just I was, yeah, I was weird, and I was like, well, maybe you know, maybe I can make this work. Maybe I could play bass, like that's a cool instrument, you know. And my brother's wow. a great guitarist, so I was like, I need this taken, right? Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna, I can't play guitar, so uh, <laughs> right. I, I I asked the teacher, and I was like, hey, is there any way? And he is a bass player, so it, okay. it worked out, and uh, yeah, with. Within the first couple of weeks of that class, he put on a video of Victor, uh, oh, Victor's jam. It's and over. That, it's over now. Yeah, that was done. So yeah. that was really what, like, because I, I mean, I've been listening to, you know, funk and R&B my whole life. Like, right. I, I, you know, have been listening to, to Marcus without knowing I'm listening to Marcus, you yeah. know, and, and hearing all of that. So, like, actually seeing someone do it for the first time and kind of matching that sound with the instrument yeah first time was was uh was victor for sure wow that's that's some type of uh, introduction man 
Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty insane. What about you? I mean, that's that's an interesting question, man. Because even when I first started, like the way that I grew up, um, the way that I grew up, there wasn't slap bass. So like, I grew up playing in church, and that's all I knew in the beginning was just kind of playing in in that type of setting. And it's not really a lot of slap bass, well, not really any slap bass when I was playing in church. And even the style of of church that I grew up in, it wasn't even like that. It was more so. I'm trying to give an analogy to how it was sound. It was more so, I don't know if anybody's seen the movie Cadillac Records with Muddy Waters and not that's not the actual guy, but uh, uh, Muddy Waters, uh, he was a character in the show. He's playing slide, like a slide guitar type of thing. Um, and it's more like a Delta blues type of thing. It's, it's very weird. So the Hawaiian guitar is like the main instrument or pedal steel instrument. So anyway, um, very old school type of sound. So I didn't really get introduced to slap bass for way later in my playing. Um, and even still, I never knew who Larry Graham was. I never knew who Lewis Johnson was. I never I never paid attention to it. I might've known who Bootsy was um, just for some movies and videos or something like that. Um, but other than that, maybe Verdeen White. Uh, but, you know, when they played, it didn't really catch me. You know, I'm sure they were playing slap bass, but it really, it, I didn't really catch on to it uh at the time but i think i was somewhere i can't remember but my dad had a cd of victor um not even marcus because i've heard marcus play before and it really didn't catch me like uh, even he was amazing is great but because that style wasn't you know um it didn't hit me like that it just i just wasn't i didn't gravitate to it but anyway he had the show of hands cd the show of hands from Victor Wooten. That's the first time I kind of got introduced to that kind of style of slap bass. And that changed my whole perception, right? Even when hearing some of those bass lines before, they were always with the band, um, like even some of the old school funk stuff, there's always with the, you know, other instruments and it was always with the band and they were just kind of doing their thing in the background. I never heard it out front. You know what I mean? I, I never heard it in that capacity that Victor had it and just played it by himself I think the whole entire record may be by itself yeah. um, if I'm thinking correctly and I never heard it in that way to be so freaking musical and I thought he like overdubbed himself playing like 10 times <laughs> and I was like oh wow that's pretty cool you know he played you know he got it you know yeah. he played himself over and over like oh, he, my dad was like that he's not that's him like that's him he can play that live so I said nah you uh, stop playing with me <laughs> that was super I was super young yeah, I was super young, and um, I finally saw him live, and I saw him play that stuff. And I was like, man. So it brought a whole nother, because I, I just thought bass was not supposed to stand up. I thought we were never supposed to have that, you know, that platform. Um, solo, and we're getting some other, you know, topics that are controversial, too. You know, bass soloing always sounds terrible. You know, a lot of people think, or you leave the room whenever a bass solo starts, or something like that. Um, but I never heard it to the magnitude that he was playing. I mean, soloing, theoretical ability, you know, just creativity, just, uh, you know, composition, all of that, all of the above. So that really changed my playing completely in that in that sense. Um, it's two people that did it for me. It was O'Teal and Vic. That really changed my perception as far as the bass being out front or being able to express yourself that way on the bass because I'd never heard it done so delicately, delicately like that. And so, you know, I don't know, just I don't know, just flawlessly like the way they did it. But anyway, that was my that was my yeah. introduction to kind of slap bass. Other than that, I had a lot of, you know, guy friends later on in my playing, you know, from Chicago that I ended up, you know, meeting. They have a whole completely different style of like slap bass. It's almost, it's, I think it's called greasing. We've talked about that before. Um, and I know Damo does some of that. We talked about that last, uh, one of the last podcasts. And they have this crazy weird style. Uh, him and, and Donald, uh, Donald Alford. And I, we did a we did a podcast with him. It was a while ago. But yeah, they have this crazy style. Maybe we'll talk about that a whole nother podcast. Uh, a slapping, it's almost not even slapping. It's like a pick slap type of thing is weird very weird yeah. so there's so many different levels of slapping but when i think of the term slap bass i just think oh callum while i have you here another thing let me get this off my chest <laughs> <laughs> let me get this off my do chest it. man do it 
Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get tore up. You can't leave me hanging out. I'm, I'm gonna get tore up, man. But anyway, okay. It's just it's the <laughs> it's the perception of slap bass, right? Every time I play a slap bass thing, and this pisses me off all the time. Every time I play anything like slap bass, I guarantee you a hundred percent in the comments somewhere, something about Seinfeld is going to be mentioned. I hate I hate that because that's not even a real bass. It's just yeah, it's like a keyboard. It's a keyboard. It's a synth, and it's like oh man, it's like so you really don't know bass then. But everything I was like every slap bass doesn't sound like Seinfeld. Like okay, like that's enough. It's like the joke is over now. It's like I don't know. It's a weird thing when I came into the bass community and uh, even online. I was just like, what are people talking about? That's a lot. That's yeah. We would do a whole other segment of crazy comments that we've gotten, but um yeah, like every. I'm, I'm gonna do this one time. Everybody that says I look like somebody, we'll do that a whole nother time. Oh yeah, it, this this the craziest thing. Man. It's like all bald head guys with beards don't look like LeBron James or. <laughs> I was like, gonna say I see like, LeBron James all the time. It's I, like, it's like, like you look nothing. That's like one LeBron of the James. main ones that I do. I've gotten LeBron James. I've gotten Draymond Green, which is almost <laughs> close to an insult. <laughs> No, no, uh, <laughs> no, no disrespect, great mom. But uh, uh, I've gotten James Harden because of the beard. Another dude the other mm-hmm. day called me uh, Isaac Hayes. Um, <laughs> dude, I've gotten everything. I'm trying to think of another one, like just with a guy with a beard. There's so many. I, I, I need to go through the comments and read them all. But dude, literally, I've, I've just, I don't know. It's just a stereotypical thing of people thinking that that's slap bass when it's not really slap bass. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna post the picture. I'm gonna post the guy. There's an actual video. Maybe we put it in here. There's a video of a guy explaining him playing that bass line on the key, yeah. like on the keyboard, so everybody can just see that that is not a freaking bass. Anyway, rant over. Uh, <laughs> back to back to slap bass. Uh, but I think everybody's just kind of made it so. I don't know. Like I don't. I don't know. You kind of get turned off. Of, buy it because everybody tries to do it or everybody just you know that's all they want to hear or no it's you know it's just like it's just synonymous with the bass like when i tell somebody you want to play the bass like that weird meme thing like slapping the bass i don't know what that movie is from oh where that that's some movie is talking about slapping the bass i think it's like a line in there he's talking about slapping the bass and everybody says it whenever i say i play bass but anyway um very weird <laughs> that makes me not want to play slap bass at all yeah it's uh, yeah and <laughs> yeah there, there's a lot of aspects of it that are just like oh man yeah yeah it's, it's definitely uh interesting um but yeah i thought we'd get some some uh definitely great takes out of that conversation and out of that topic man there's so many like i said we haven't even touched like uh what was the one that we were going to talk about the uh Oh, oh God! I don't even talk about it. like the wrong note thing. But we'll talk. We'll talk about that later. Uh, that can be a whole another podcast too. But I don't know anything else you want to mention about slap bass or get off your chest, man, as you will, please, oh, by man. all means. <laughs> I, I think I think you have to get to a certain level with it in order. I mean, and that sounds that sounds not right to say like oh well you got to be really good if you want me to listen to it you know like that that's not what I'm going I, for. But I get what you're saying though, man. Like I I I get it. Like. It's hard to master, yeah. like in that in between stage. Yeah. It's like it's like having that, like so. Say if you're trying to like a guy's trying to grow his hair out, like there's an in between stage that's not really that great. <laughs> and then when you finally get to like the full length that you wanted, like that was with me when I had locks back in the yeah. day. Like that in between stage is scary. Um, <laughs> so it's like okay, yeah. yeah, why why you got it? But also know at the same time, and I talk about this with a lot of different techniques that people talk about and want to learn, like with tapping with um like the two hand tapping you no know, that kind of stuff um the three four finger technique stuff um you know the four five finger chordal thing you have to realize there's a time and a place for all of that um and notice what takes priority you know you know like that's the slap bass is cool but if that's your thing and that's what you do i i get it but how many times are you going to use that i had to kind of pull myself back because it was like I had to be practical. Like, is this what I do? You know, I'm not about to play uh, classical thump inside of a R&B gig. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm not gonna play. Can't hold no groove in church. Well, let me. 
you know, actually, you know what? I actually have played Candle in a group in church. Uh, I wish I could clip that, and I, I'll show. Yeah, uh, no, but anyway, I but I'm just saying, you, you get the, you get the, <laughs> you get the idea, man. It's like, what, yeah. what makes sense for you to do if you're just trying to learn it just for the hell of it? Like, okay, cool, um, you know. But you have to make sure you learn the other things that take precedence over, you know, the the icing on the cake, if you will. You know, that's like the cherry on top stuff. Uh, if you don't know foundational wise, you know, bass playing, I wouldn't get too much into slap bass because then that's all you're going to become. You know, that's, you're not going to have the foundational values of being able to play bass, the actual bass, instead of like learning all the tips and the tricks, which is gr which is great. But uh, we have to have a certain balance of, of that. And I think that's one of my main problems, too. I think when people learn it, it's like it's like the gospel thing or the meme that we we put up is like <laughs> taking that next step or skipping a bunch of steps to learn something crazy i think it was like theory scales and then there was another step like <laughs> the fifth step the was like gospel yeah. shout bass or something like that yeah um it's just trying to run there. exactly trying to run before you can walk or crawl you know i think that's one of the main things is my issue with uh learning different techniques like that but um but yeah man this is uh, interesting <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, about the the middle part, you know, about that that learning part of slap bass, where you're, it's kind of before you mm. get to that higher level. I mean, mm. I remember having uh, tape like on on the back of my bass. I would just cover the back of my bass with these these lengths of tape because double thumbing is Ooh. really hard to learn. I mean, that that's something that takes a really, really long time to get down. It is. And it took, you know, it took me months of, of working on that every day. And my thumb would bleed. Like I would, I would get, my thumb would get all bloody and I, but then you can't practice for two weeks because then yeah. you got to scab and, you know. Mm -hmm. So I that. had, yeah, right. I <laughs> taped up my thumb and I just keep tape on the back of my base so I could just, Put it right back on. You know and, what? And did you going. have did you have tape on the on the back of your base when we were in L.A. Like when we were in uh Anaheim? yeah, that's what I, I thought yeah. I remember seeing tape. Like, I still ha I still have tape <laughs> on the tape, back man. of my base just in case. You know, it's uh, I just keep tape that's back hilarious. there. Hilarious! Uh, like, what the hell is this tape? Yeah. Man? <laughs> like no, but I get it. Man. It's, a, it's the same thing. You know, like I had band aids all over the place. My finger wrapped up. I had blisters all over the place. My fingers would bleed. You know, from playing for so long. Um, I mean, they have never. I don't think I have any feeling at all. And and either of these eight fingers right here, I don't have any feeling at all. Uh, just from the years of uh, destroying my bass yeah. and playing so hard, and you know, developing the calluses and stuff like that. But yeah, you got to go through that. You got to go through you know all of that stuff, and that could be yeah. a whole another. That could be a whole another podcast, man. It's like for sure. Uh, it's 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 the work, man. It's the long nights. It's the sleeping. You know, with your base, yeah. <laughs> like that's how it literally was. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that at another level. So. We're going to get off. Uh, we're yeah. going to leave that next time uh, for the next podcast. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you're not, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this and you're not part of the Base Nation Academy, the link is going to be anywhere in the description that this video is. Or if you're listening, uh, it's going to be in the description or in the bio or something like that. Um, if you want to level up your bass playing, this is what we're talking about. Just, you know, the whole life of bass, the bass community, uh, being able to be your best self or just, you know, excel, you know, in your. Uh, in your musicality um in your bass playing in general but yeah if you're interested in that come hang out with us at bass nation academy that'll be cool uh like comment subscribe if you've seen it on youtube or anything or anywhere else uh what else man i think that's it that's it that's, for me i think that's it all right we'll take you guys in the next one